Hey everyone, Parallel here, and welcome to Star Trek Online. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the brand new Nausicaan Energy Torpedo. It has finally come out along with the third week of the featured episode Echoes of Light. And what I'd like to do is go through the stats of this torpedo, and in fact take a look at the whole uh, set that it is a part of. It is actually part of a three-piece set called Entoiled Technologies. And this, you get this whole set from the Echoes of Light featured episode. Now, I, what I'd also like to do is actually take a look at this torpedo in action. Uh, so I will do a Argala run, and I'd like to see you know the particle effects and what it looks like. Uh, I'm actually very excited about this torpedo. It is a very unique torpedo because it is a energy-based torpedo. I have moused over it here, and you can actually see the tooltip. It is disruptor-based damage. That's pretty cool. In fact, uh, the only other energy torpedo that's been available was the Crystalline Entity Torpedo, which is, uh, where did I put it? Right here. So this is the old one, uh, old energy torpedo here. This was only available from a Crystalline Entity event from a while back. Um, and in fact, consoles uh, just also completed their uh, uh, Crystalline Entity event where they got this torpedo, the old Crystalline Energy one. That was an anti-proton based energy torpedo. And, but now finally there's one you can actually get from an episode, an energy-based torpedo you can get from an episode. Um, it actually looks to be a good torpedo and it, uh, um, it's much more available. I mean, you can't get the Crystalline Entity Torpedo anymore. So this is great for newer players uh, and it gives them an option to actually have access to an energy torpedo. Now you might be wondering what's so great about an energy torpedo. Well, the way most torpedoes work in Star Trek Online is they're all based on kinetic damage. So it's a different damage type, and it's buffed by you know different tactical consoles. Now for these energy torpedoes, since they are energy-based, not kinetic, they actually are buffed by your tactical consoles that buff that type of damage. So for example, I have tactical consoles here. I have uh, vulnerability locators that buff disruptor damage. Um, since this is my uh, KDF character, I, I have a fully disruptor-based build here for my energy, my beams here. Um, so that will, those consoles will also buff the Nausicaan energy torpedo because it is considered energy damage rather than kinetic. It's kind of a weird thing in this game where basically all your torpedoes are kinetic, like uh, the gravimetric torpedo. It's a photon torpedo, but it actually does kinetic damage. You can see in the tooltip. Um, so even though there's different types of uh, torpedoes out there, um, I think that's the only other torpedo I have on this character, but even though there's all these different types of torpedoes, plasma torpedoes, photons, quantums, they all actually do kinetic damage. Now, that's what makes these energy-based torpedoes a little bit different. And as you could probably guess, that makes these energy-based torpedoes much easier to fit into a energy weapon-based build. So you can see, I, like I said, I'm running all disruptor beams here. So this is mostly an energy-based build, but uh, you can slap a energy-based torpedo in here and, uh, and it gets some nice buffs. Now, of course, the question is, is this actually an improvement over running just another dual beam bank? If I were to throw another dual beam bank in here, would it be doing more damage? Um, the truth is uh, that is definitely the, the probable. I would say for most builds, probably the, the uh, dual beam bank or another uh, beam array would do more damage in that slot. But there are some nice things that actually do uh, mitigate that. In particular, and unfortunately I can't show it on this character, but if there, in particular there is a trait. There's a trait out there called supercharged weapons um, that you I would highly, highly recommend you get. I'm working on it on this character. I just haven't leveled this the particular ship that you get it from. Because it is a ship trait, and you get it from the tactical variant of the flagships. Uh, flagships. Where's the flagship bundle? It's probably down here because I already own it.
Well, for the Federation version, you can see it here. This is where you actually get the trait. It's from the tactical version of the flagship for your faction. So if you're Klingon or Romulan, there is a Romulan variant and a Klingon variant of the flagships. Um, as you can see, I'm here on my KDF tune. And uh, the trait is, yeah. So after you achieve level five, you will get supercharged weapons. And what supercharged weapons does is it makes it so whenever you... Uh, fire a torpedo, including the energy torpedo, it will give you a huge buff, a stacking buff to your all of your other beam weapon damage. And in my opinion, in, in the parses I've done, that actually brings it up pretty much to par, I think, to, to it, you know, it actually makes it somewhat worthwhile to slot a, a single slot here for an energy torpedo. Because of that trait, it will make all of your other energy weapons do more damage. Um, it might even buff crit rate and crit damage, I'm, and it stacks. And if you actually, uh, one thing that's nice is if you run in, uh, in one of your bridge officer slots, if you run a torp spread, um, the torp spread will, since it's launching multiple torpedoes, it will instantly stack up your supercharged weapons. Um, I'm not running that here in this uh, character just because I haven't earned that trait yet. I haven't leveled up my flagship on this character yet. I'm, this character's kind of still a work in progress, which is actually why I wanted to show off the this particular set here on this character because I think this is a good set, particularly for newer characters um, who are leveling up who don't have, especially if you don't have the uh, science, the embassy science consoles yet, the plasma exploder consoles. Um, because of the console that's part of the set here, the Nausicaan console uh, is a science console. Um, and it is actually pretty decent. I mean, like I said, if you're leveling up on a new build, it's actually a very good console. And it's worth hanging on to until you actually you know, rank up and join a fleet and crank out your uh, fleet marks and actually get to the point where you can afford the embassy plasma consoles. So it's a good interim console. All right, so that is my recommendations on the build here. Let's actually go into the stats and take a look at it here. You can actually see, um, actually, I'll, I'll go out into space before I take a look at the stats. Just real quick, if you're wondering, just to make sure in case someone's watching this video after the fact and they're not familiar with how you get this particular set, including the energy torpedo, you get it from the episode called Echoes of Light. Um, and as the time of the making of this video, uh, the Echoes of Light is the current featured episode. You know, uh, whenever they release a new, a new story mission like this, Cryptic always has, you know, like a featured episode event. So for three weeks while this uh, episode was brand new, you know, you get special rewards, including a... Um, Oh, no, it doesn't show it anymore, but you actually get a Nausicaan ground weapon as well primitive. as one of the special rewards during the featured great. episode event. So that is how you get it. Um, console players, I'm sure at some point in the future, uh, you will also be getting this episode and you will get access to this as well. Right now, it's only available on PC uh, from my understanding. All right, let's head out into space and uh, take a look at the stats and do an Argala run and take a look at the, you know, the particle effects and see how effective this torpedo is. Um, you can see here I am in a Fleet Tier 6 Mata Raptor, my favorite KDF ship. Absolutely amazing ship with an awesome uh, spinal disruptor cannons, which is why I like this whole disruptor based build. It fits perfectly onto this ship because of the spinal cannon is disruptor based. Um, plus it just fits the whole theme of Klingon, uh, Klingon so it's, it's fantastic. I just love, absolutely love this ship. Um, all right, so the Nausicaan Energy Torpedo, it does disruptor damage. You can see here, I have upgraded it to Mark 14. I have not upgraded the quality yet. Uh, I wanted to make sure I like this torpedo before I go blowing tons and tons of dill and tech upgrades to get this thing up to epic. Um, but hey, if it's as good as the uh, Crystalline Energy Torpedo, I think it will be worth it. Um, so there it is, it gives uh, 7,500 Disruptor damage, 20% uh, chance to hold for five seconds. Kind of a cool proc. Um, I'm kind of curious, I'm gonna try to see in Argala if I can actually see that proc go off. And I'm wondering if, uh, is that is that 20%, is that for 
for each volley, or does each if you do a torp spread, does each torpedo have a chance to do that? It's probably per volley, but I'm not sure. Um, it also says in the tooltip here, if you have the um, Nausicaan weapon augmentation set bonus, you also, that proc will also do some additional disruptor damage. It looks like a, a dot per second for five seconds. So 865 damage per second for five seconds. Okay. Um, it also gives two target a minus 10 all damage resistance for 10 seconds. That's awesome. It goes along with the theme of disruptor damage. And uh, that's always very good. Lowering the damage resistance is awesome. It's very effective in increasing your damage output. And since it's all damage resistance, it'll make all of your other weapons do more damage on that target that it hits. So that's great. Um, uh, yeah, after launching mines or targets, I'll be a grandson. Temporary hit points. Uh, let's see, 2.5% chance physical damage. I believe these are all my other procs that are showing on here from... Uh, yeah. From spec trees and everything else. So don't don't pay attention to those. Now it does have plus 40% crit severity, and it is a 12 second, 12 second recharge? Uh, what was the... Crystalline Entity Torpedo... 12 seconds. Okay, so it's the same recharge time. Um, pretty similar damage. I mean, obviously I've moused over the tor my Crystalline Entity one here, but that's not very rare, and it's not uh, being buffed by tactical consoles. I, I, I'm getting a, a, a vibe here that's very, very similar in power to the Crystalline Energy Torpedo. I, I expect it to perform very much on par with, the, with that. Um... Anything else on this torpedo? You can see down there it is part of the Entoiled Technology set, which I will go through here because I have the other pieces slotted. Um, let's take a look at those real quick. The other piece you get, you get all of these three pieces from the same uh, mission. You get them all from Echoes of Light. Uh, you just have to rerun it, re, yeah, replay it three times to get all three. Um, so the other piece you can get is a Nausicaan Disruptor Beam Array. This one, uh, of course, does disruptor damage. Two self, yeah, it gives you the minus 10 per energy when firing other weapons. Um, okay, make weapon amplifier. Those are my other procs. What are the actual procs of the weapon here? Okay, the 5% chance. No, that's not it. Uh, two target. Man, how many procs do I have? <laughs> let me, let me, I'm going to unequip this here for a second. All right, so disruptor damage, it gives you a uh, 2.5% chance to hold for five seconds. And if you have the uh, two piece step bonus, it gives you the additional disruptor damage over time if you get the hold proc. Um, two target, minus two all subsystem power, really? That's kind of odd, so it drains power and gives you power. Cool. Uh, two target. That's got to be from plasma, Plasmonic Leech. I, I don't know why that would be showing here if I don't even have it equipped. Anyway, two target also gives you the 2.5% chance for minus 10% all damage resistance rating for 15 seconds. Uh, typical for a disruptor. I think the special thing on it here is that hold proc. Even the ground Nausicaan weapon has that hold proc. That seems to be the theme they've gone with here for these Nausicaan weapon set is the, the torpedo has a hold proc. The beam does, the ground weapon does, so that's the theme. Now the third piece you get is a science console, it is the Nausicaan Siphon Capacitor. This one gives you 31.5 Starship Drain ex expertise. Um, pretty handy stat, that's nice if you're running a Plasmonic Leech, helps drain more energy. Um, or if you're running a Drain build, good for that as well. It also gives you 26% uh, power transfer rate, that's actually really nice. Um, that is very very good if you're running you know a strong beam build with uh, overcapped power on your weapons that will help out um and then finally plus 20 percent disruptor damage i'm pretty sure that's a category one I, i'm almost positive um which puts it you know it's not quite as good as a typical tactical console it's below that but it does help because you can put it in the science console slots and like i said if you're not if you don't have maxed out 
uh, embassy plasma consoles, this will be a good uh, substitute until you can get to that point. That being said, if, once you do have the embassy consoles, those will uh, very much outpace this as far as uh, how much damage output you get. So those are the three pieces. Let's take a look at the set bonus. All right, set bonus here. So this two-piece set is the Nausicaan Weaponry Augmentation. This is basically what you need to have to ha to allow this disruptor net to uh, be triggered by your uh, proc. So when you get the hold proc, you will also do some additional damage over time. Um, and it says it's modified by weapons training and energy weapons training. That's actually kind of interesting. It's not modified by uh, uh, exotic particle generator, so it's... Uh, and, you know, obviously it's not an exotic damage ability, it just counts as weapon damage. Okay. Just something to take note of. That, it, it would have been, I think, more interesting if it was buffed, if it was treated as exotic damage, then it might actually have an interesting place on some science sciencey builds. But uh, it is weapon damage. And then the three-piece set bonus is Nausicaan Power Initiative. 26.6 .6 disruptor damage. I'm, again, I'm almost positive that's Cat 1. But this is kind of good here. 50% or plus 50 to your uh, Starship Hull Penetration skill. That's actually really good. Um, hull, uh, hull Penetration is a fantastic ability. And plus 50, that's about worth, you know, a skill. Um, I'd say it's worth. Where is it? Yeah, I mean, that's worth like an extra rank in your Hull Penetration skill. Like the first rank there, you get 50 hull penetration that are worth as much as the second two ranks combined. So that's actually a pretty good three-piece set bonus. Again, like I said, uh, I'd highly recommend this set if you are, you know, as you're leveling up, this is a very good set. Um, you may replace pieces later, but a good starting set. All right, so there it is. I will be using this set in combat here. So let's go ahead and patrol our gala. Now... I'm going to probably turn this up to advanced just so everything doesn't die instantly. I do want to get a chance to actually look at the, um, you know, look at the torpedoes and see what the effects look like and everything good like that. This is not uh, going for a super high DPS run, although I will uh, buff up and actually just get an idea of how much the torpedo, how much damage the torpedoes are doing. And yes, I'm just admiring my the Mata Raptor. It is absolutely an awesome looking ship. Um, if you're wondering the skin I'm using here, it is actually the uh, what is it? The Klingon Honor Guard. Yep, Klingon Honor Guard Resilient Shield. I think looks awesome on all Klingon ships. All right, let's go ahead and head in. This is a tactical character. Um, like I said, I am. this is not one of my top characters. This character is definitely not maxed out. I'm still working on lots of things. But uh, let's just see how this does. This, I mean, this is obvious. This is what I think is the ideal use for this particular weapon set, is if you are leveling up a new character or an alt or something, that is the ideal use for it. It might not be top, you know, for top-end builds, but it's certainly good for leveling up. Okay, there's the torpedo with the torp spread. They kind of looks like they have ooh, nice explosions. I like it. Pretty cool looking explosion. It kind of has a light greenish color, greenish bluish color. Let's do something here. I'm gonna approach these guys. I'm going to buff up. See if I'm just going to launch the torpedo though. Oh, I missed it. I'm on all weapons fire. <laughs> you can see though, it hits pretty hard. Got some 50k crits there. And man, this is without supercharged weapons. I, I, I really do like these energy torpedoes. They're so so easy to slot into a energy-based weapon build, and it makes you feel more Star Trek, -y, right? I mean. It's always nice to have a torpedo on your build and not, you know, have to suffer a huge loss in DPS like you typically would with a kinetic-based torpedo on an energy-based build. 
So I actually, I, I really do like these energy-based torpedoes. There goes another spread. They, they do kind of have, yeah, it's like a light green. And then look at those explosions. They have a very kind of a, a greenish explosion. There's another one. It's kind of like a greenish explosion with almost like a bluish tinge or a tint to it after it uh, goes off. There goes another nice storm spread. Yeah, look at those explosions. That looks fantastic. Okay, let's see if we can get another... Uh, Another spread on these guys here. There we go. Pretty solid. I'm liking it. Looks looks very good. It's got a unique look to it. It doesn't have the uh, nice red contrails like the crystalline torpedo does. So I, I don't know, I, I might still get the edge to the crystalline torpedo, but this one does look good. It, it has, I really like the explosion um, color effect, the kind of color gradient they have going on there with the green and the blue colors. Okay, let's do this again. Let's go ahead and buff up. Make short work of those guys. And let's get to use this use our lands just for fun. Yep. The spinal lance on the Mata Raptor just completely shreds. It does incredible damage. Alright, so that is the Nausicaan. The new Nausicaan Energy Torpedo. It is a um, Yeah, I mean, it is a disruptor-based energy torpedo, and it seems to perform very well. I'd say it's right up there with the crystalline energy torpedo. Of course, this torpedo would be fantastic if you're running, like, coalition disruptors. Um, would fit right into a coalition disruptor build. I'm actually just running regular old crafted disruptors with uh, pens, um, which I, I, I made these actually quite a while ago, these... Uh, uh, Pen, pen Disruptor, I upgraded these to, to Epic quite a while ago before Coalition Disruptors were even out. I'd recommend now if you were going to go with the Disruptor build, go with those Coalition Disruptors. They are very, very good. But these are still very solid. I still like the, you know, the pen mod is still fantastic, which you can't get on the Coalition Disruptors. Um, but yeah, this torpedo will fit right into any Disruptor build extremely well. Just make sure you get that uh, trait that I mentioned, the... Um, Starship trait from the tactical variant of the flagship, which will give you the uh, um, supercharged weapon trait, which works incredibly well with this torpedo. And will fit really well into any build. Um, and I'm actually I'm pretty impressed. I did like the graphical effect as well. So it performs well, looks good. You can fit it into an energy build, the disruptor build, very easily. So yeah, I'm going to give this torpedo an A+. I mean, this thing is, you know, pretty much everything you want of an energy torpedo. And it, it's just always nice to be able to run a torpedo on your build and not always be thinking to yourself, how much damage am I losing? With, you know, with this torpedo and with the supercharged weapon trait, you really are not sacrificing that much damage. And if, I mean, you can almost, it's kind of hard to calculate, you know, how much uh, damage it's adding to your other weapons. So it really almost is... In my opinion, a complete wash, or even maybe a slight, you know, increase in DPS. All right, so there you go, everyone. That is the new Nausicaan energy torpedo, along with the uh, three-piece set, the Entoiled Technology set. I highly, highly recommend this set, especially if you're leveling up. But even if you're, um, you know, even if you're you know, or do you have a pretty high-end build? I, you know, if you have a disruptor-based build, this torpedo will fit fantastic into it. I don't know if I think the disruptor beam array is enough of a. Uh, mm, I don't know if this is enough of a step up over just regular, like a coalition disruptor beam array, or just even just a regular crafted beam array with pen. 
just because that hold proc I don't think is quite as good. Um, yeah, so again, it's a good a good weapon for leveling up, and maybe if you're going for like a controlly based sciency build, maybe go with this uh, disruptor. But otherwise, I would say just uh, stick with your coalitions or your uh, pen mod crafted. And definitely this the console. I mean, it's a, again, it's a pretty decent console. It's just not quite as good as the Plasma Embassy plas uh, Embassy Plasma console. So I would say put slot this in there, have fun with it for a while. Once you have your maxed out Plasma consoles, go ahead and take that out. Um, but that said, that three-piece bonus, man, the three-piece bonus is not bad. All that extra hull pen, that's actually really good. So is it worth giving up a Plasma console? No, probably not, but... It's still a pretty solid bonus, so uh, it's definitely worth using in the interim. So yeah, what can I say? Good, good looking weapon, good graphics, good particle effect, good three piece set bonus, good, um, you know, good for fitting into any disruptor build. I mean, what's not to love? It's it's even pretty reasonably easy to get. the The Echoes of Light episode is a very uh, you know, exploration based episode. It's not, you know, a lot of storyline and plot and not very much combat. So even that episode is pretty easy to run through, even on a new, you know, if you're like a new level 60 character, it should be very easy to get through that episode and get all three of these items. Um, all right, so that's it. That is the Nuskin Energy Torpedo. I hope you found this informative. Go out there and get it. I highly, highly recommend it from the Echoes of Light episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. That's all. Bye for now.